what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip on having a light animate with your scene. So I have this kind of scene set up. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I got this kind of uh, maze of uh, brick walls and this text spline kind of shoots out and the camera backs up with it. Well, I already actually built a spline in order to uh, kind of have this text sweep along it, right? So let's go ahead and take out this spline, right? We'll go ahead and duplicate it, add it out here. The reason I'm doing this is because if I go ahead and render, uh, it's really dark, right? Can't really see what's going on. The entire um, scene setup is really poorly lit, right? So what I want to do is kind of have a spotlight back up with this thing and just kind of maybe be attached to this spline and kind of pulling back. But I don't really want to hand animate the entire thing, right? I want a really fast and easy way for a light to follow this animation. There is an awesome way to do that, so let's check it out. So we're going to go ahead and add a spotlight. Go ahead and add a light and we'll go ahead to the general tab and change that to a spotlight. So now if we back out, you can see that our spotlight's right here, right? So what we're going to do is right click and go to align to spline. And this is an align to spline tag. And in here we have a spline path. So that's why I grabbed this and duplicated the spline. So we'll go ahead and drop that into here. and. Now, if we go to our spline tag, you can see that our light is stuck along that spline, right? You'll notice that the light is not really sticking um, on the path. That is a simple fix. All you have to do is click tangential. And now the light is actually kind of turning and rotating and following the spline, right? The problem is we actually want the light to be facing the other way so that it's illuminating the front of this text. Here comes the problem. If we go to our light, we can't actually rotate it, right? We can't rotate it, we can't move it, we can't scale it, we can't do anything. It is stuck and it is attached to this spline. You can't do anything. We definitely want to find a workaround. So the way we're going to do that is by putting this in a null. And you're going to realize that this isn't going to work either because if we try to rotate the null, nothing happens either. And what we need to do is take this tag and put it on the null instead of on the light. Now if we go into the light, this guy is now freed up to go ahead and rotate wherever it wants. So that is awesome, right? So go ahead and kind of point it here. And now all we have to do is animate it. So we'll go to the beginning and we'll go to our tag and put the position something like right here. We'll go ahead and make a keyframe and then we'll follow it all the way to the end and the end of the animation and we'll change the position so it follows it all the way back and hit another keyframe. Now let's go to our camera and if we hit render you can see that it is kind of lighting up the scene but it's actually um, a little bit past it so we can actually go ahead and tweak our animation so if we kind of pull it ahead a little bit now if we hit render you can see that we're actually lighting the scene. And this light will backtrack with us the entire way and uh, we won't have to animate it by hand either. Which is really cool because all we have to do is keyframe this position. So, and uh, if it doesn't quite back up to the last animation, all you have to do is go into that spline, go to point mode, select that last point, and kind of pull that one farther back. And there you go, there is the animation, complete with a light that if we keyframe it properly, we'll follow it the entire way. The nice thing about using an align to spline tag is you can use it on anything. If you make one spline, you could make a camera and then dump the spline tag on there and use that spline and have the camera animate backwards with it. Like I showed you, you can do it with a light, you can do it with an object, anything you can imagine, you can animate along a spline really easily by using this tag. So I hope you learned something new. Thanks for checking out the site. We'll talk again soon. Bye everybody.